So what St. Luke's and others are really responding to is the incredible movement and power of workers that have been out demanding this. The fight for 15 over in one metro hospital system. Today, St. Luke's announced its new permanent minimum wage for employees across the board will be $15 an hour. I'm Pat McGonigal. I'm Lauren Halifax. Hospital administration says this move is a show of gratitude to support frontline staff during the pandemic. But labor activists tell Fox Force Jacob Kittlestad that to them, this is a big win for all low wage workers. What are they saying, Jake? Well, St. Luke's likely didn't pull this $15 figure out of thin air. You probably remember protests often involving fast food employees going all the way back to 2012. So a lot of people involved with that are happy to hear about this change. As St. Luke's is being highlighted for raising its minimum wage, employees at other hospitals say it should be the norm. I guess you could say putting their lives on the line. Shirley Caston works in the GI lab at a St. Luke's competitor research medical center. When I say gastroenterologist, that means everything from the top to the bottom. And she started at the bottom 35 years ago, taking in just $5 an hour. She's finally reached the $15 mark, but many of her coworkers aren't there even during the pandemic. And you're working hard and you're coming to work every day. And, you know, we want to reward you with a little extra per hour or something, but we haven't gotten any of that. I think what the pandemic has really shown, the designation of essential workers, where you really see that being placed is often on lower wage workers. Richard Von Glan, policy director for Missouri Jobs with Justice, says it's great what's happening at St. Luke's and credits outside workers for applying pressure. $15 is a demand of workers that was demanded by workers, launched by workers, that workers have been in the streets fighting for this. This idea did not originate in a corporate boardroom. Other uh, healthcare facilities need to uh, pay attention to what, what St. Luke's is doing and match them because workers right now are just working their hearts out. They're moving in the right direction. However, <laughs> it took a long time to get there. And unfortunately, in the midst of all that, it left a lot of hardworking people, dedicated working people in poverty. And that's exactly where they are. They're in poverty. And looking statewide, not just in the healthcare industry, looking at minimum wage coming up here on January 1st, the minimum wage in Missouri is rising from $9.45 an hour to $10.30 an hour. Labor activists say that they believe that will affect about 30,000 healthcare employees, impacting them as well as a lot of employees outside of that industry. Lauren.